Okay, um, that ranks in the top 10 least fun experiences of my life. Robo Scorpions are significantly nastier than I first anticipated. Oh, that's the emitter array, I don't want to go bumping into that. Uh, probably take another stim pack. Hmm. Please have drugs. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Alright, the X8 Research Facility. And apparently there's a uh, personality chip on the way, so... I'll go there, get the chip, then get, ever what, get whatever the hell it is they want from this other place. I think it was a stealth suit, they said. Oh, all quiet on the western front so far. That smoke doesn't look good. Well, this would appear to be something. 308. AI programming requires that I Oh shit. I hope we can still be friends when this is all over. What the hell? Ah oh man, is this thing torn through my armor? Christ. Oh dear god. Okay, they might be robots, but then at least they're not robo scorpions. And that spare suit of armor I nicked off Graham appears to be quite inefficient. Or at least it's been ripped to shreds again. More enemies. Look, I just want personality chip. That's all. Uh Never mind. The Y-17 medical facility. I would say it's a medical facility, how harmful can it be, but... Okay, that looks quite harmful. Let's just try and ping it in its body. Come on! I'm using armor piercing! Ow! More stim packs required. Oh fuck.
How the My God. If I had hands, I would strangle the life out of you. Yeah, thank you. More stim packs, I guess. Yeah, bite me. <laughs> See, that's the problem with plasma, my friend. It's quite inaccurate. Jesus, this guy has a PhD. Valence Radi Accentuator. That sounds cool. I am sincerely hoping that the Autodoc personality chip is located somewhere within this facility. As not having to spend a million caps on goddamn energy cells would be great. Combat armor. Well, it's got to do a better job on what I'm wearing. Uh, Joshua Graham's arm is pretty much trashed. Auto duck. Excellent. Okay. This doesn't seem to work against force fields. Like, at all. More auto dock upgrades. Let's find me one to. Yes, now I can turn the stupid thing on. That's all I really wanted. Any of these at all useful? Oh look, Mentats. Bingo, terminal. Sierra Madre test case. I heard one of the execs mention whether Sinclair knew it or not. The Sierra Madre would be a test case for the autotoc and the innovative toxins research. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of a joke sends a chill down my spine. If I got poisoned by one of those toxins, no way would I crawl inside one of Y-17 autodox here if my life depended on it. The medical tech for those trauma suits alone makes me wish they'd erase the research. The suits do more thinking than the people inside them. Oh dear. Y-17... Trauma har Harness testing results. Y-17 Trauma Harness was, has succeeded beyond our wildest expectations. The test harness w harnesses were able to take over the motor functions of an injured subject and walk them back to home base. We'll have, an, have to see what develops once it's recorded enough. Neuro-automuscular movements to display a wider range of behaviours. To think... If they could be programmed to replicate a wearer's shooting or fighting reflexes, we'd have something truly amazing for the war effort. Some issues still remain to be ironed out before the Y-17 trauma harness is ready for general production. Calibrating the proper amount of injury to trigger the suit's remaining pro remains problematic. Still, the Lil Yangtze subjects could hardly protest once inside the harness. If a home base is not designated, the suit enters an unpredictable wander state, and as discovered while calibrating injury levels, the suit's sensors are unable to recognise when the wearer is dead. Luckily, autonomous corpse retrieval is nearly as useful as autonomous casualty recovery. Oh, would that explain all the skeletons I was fighting earlier? Good to know that we've not actually got some kind of necromancer going on here. Just a freaky fucking robot.
Uh, I'm not going to be able to get through there without upgrading this stupid emitter. Oh, that's not good. There is no standing on the green pipes. If you are standing on the green pipes, please get off them at once. Damn it, Darla. I do not need to know about green pipes right now. What the hell is this Boomtown target zone? Well, it's mildly irradiated. And it's also full of cyber dogs. Get lost. Uh, I feel kind of bad shooting them. Remind me too much of a little Rex. Okay, sold it to the X-18. Okay, so that would be a testing ground for what would appear to be large caliber artillery. Here we go, nice. What? Oh god! Yeah, fly, motherfucker. And on the bright side, we found out where all the hideous gooey tut is our brain. Are you my brain? No. Ugh, I hope it's not my brain. This place is disgusting. Okay. No. Yeah, on the right side I found out where all the toxins from Sierra Madre have been seeping in from. X8 test subject information. This test you will take on the role of one of those evil commies infiltrating an institution of honest American learning. Don't worry citizen, it's just for pretend. Your objective is to steal documents at a real dirty, dirty commie traitor, which you are not, could use to brainwash our children, which you wouldn't do. This test will help us protect our children's fragile minds from the agents of international communism. Agents like you. Just kidding. We know you're a loyal American, aren't you? Uh, did Dr. Boris write this? Subjects will be informed that we are go gauging the effectiveness of communist infiltration of American schools. They won't know what about the cyber dogs until they actually begin the test procedure. Test A. Engage cyber dog protection protocols alongside standard automation turret test. Test B. Adds protectrons to previous tests. Test B also includes some basic tests for field disruptor cap capacitance module. Internal test memo. So further notice, please do not enter the residential cyber dog test area or conduct any experiments using it. The cyber dogs are still being programmed and any disturbance could have drastic influence on the progress. Restricting access in this fashion should also help to avoid repeats of incident playtime, settlements for which are coming directly from our budget. Dr. Gail Richardson, PhD test engineer. I don't even comprehend this place. Oh god. Um. 
Who equips orderlies with flamethrowers? Go down. In what medical scenario would they need flamethrowers and plasma casters? Ooh, shit. Um, have they been... Yeah, they've been digging up bodies. Dog on robot splicing holotape. Used at a X8 splicing terminal. EMP pulse wave module on loan. The X13 facility has loaned us for EM pulse wave module prototype for Sonic Emitter for us to use in our data retrieval test simulations. The module allows a Sonic Emitter to disable certain force fields. Do not allow test subjects to leave the X8 facility with this module. Even though it won't work outside Big MT, it's a security nightmare. Thank you for all your attention on, in this matter. Adam Figgis, Burke and Project Hare. Yes, Project Burke involves what some science-minded individuals might call grave robbing. Yes, we're forced into this due to budget cuts. No, none of the senior staff use their bodies for anything else. Finally, in regards to rumour that Project Hare engages in liquidation operations against non-military targets to procure research subjects, I will not dignify them with any response other than... Ah, dignify them with response. Any other questions? Important reminder to myself, I'll probe back gathering the new residential cyberdog models to retrieve objects thrown by human beings for purposes of enjoyment. I accidentally used an audio sample recorded of its bark as the object to be fetched. Cyberdog has now become attached to the sample and displays sign of aggressive tendencies when I attempt to recover it. I left it in the residential reconstruction area until it is needed. I believe the cyberdog has buried it. Oh great. I'll get a shovel if it's buried with the damn thing. Stupid. Uh, key required. What do you do? Basic test. Attention, what the? Dr. Principal Boros. What the hell? You may know me as the head chief first researcher of labs Z9 and Z14. There I fought valiantly to preserve uh -huh. rat snake DNA and put it right where it belongs in the husk of another feared predator. Oh, and the tarantula. Can't splice enough, I always say. Especially if you can make a magnificent casador. Enough about me. It has come to my attention that many of you seemingly innocent children have been subverted by red propaganda. This is a most serious matter, requiring the most serious of detentions. Can you spell detention? I'll tell you how I spell it. Death tension. Commie pico traitors. Oh. Now I will send vicious cybernetic cyborg dogs through the corridors to weed all you traitors out. They will sniff out which among you have chosen the commie path. Especially you, Betsy Bright, who turned me down to the high school dance so you could smoke with Richie Marcus. All monitors will also be vigilant. Step outside during class, and they'll make sure you make a speedy jump back to your desk. Hold your urine and wait for the proper battle. What in the dear name of God is wrong with you, Boros? You have issues. Deep seated childhood issues. Oh, for God's sakes. This isn't working. Am 
Much more effective. Oops. Bad doggy. Okay, retrieve the student records. Retrieve Richie Marcus's midterm grades. Richie Ball of a Marcus. F minus in everything except for science. Where you got F minus minus. You are in the library. Be quiet here and filled with. Uh oh. Bad lobotomite. Fuck. You've just set the corridor on fire, you jack. Where did he go? Uh oh. Seriously bad, seriously bad, seriously bad, seriously bad. Um. Not good in any way, shape, or form. Ow. God damn it, those super search hammers hurt. Where have you gone, you dick? Uh-huh. Forty-five and seventy rounds. And oh surprise, more intelligence increasing drugs. Oh dear God. I need to blow that thing up. Pew pew, you should do the job. That was more than adequate. Now let's see if there's some way to deactivate. What the hell is up with you, Boris? And I need more stim packs. And water. Mm. Coach's office. None of this is of any bloody use. Retrieve student records. Betsy Bright's record. Yeah, just a disciplinary record. Alright, well what else does it want me to do to complete this stupid test? Oh, one more. 
Um, here. Hmm. Whatever. I'll take it. And down we go. Uh, fucking force fields. Yeah. I walked right past it. That was dumb. Cherry O'Bannons. No idea who he is. Well, she is. But for God's sakes, not more dogs. Leave through the upstairs exit. Christ. Good puppies. There's something distinctly creepy about a school filled with propaganda that's entirely based off the- Oh crap! Not good. Huh. Ah, I forgot I could walk on these. Ugh. Finish. Saints preservers. Oh my! You got to the residential test. This is really Boros, by the way. Hello again. None of us thought you would get this far. Hmm. Oh, life! You learning experience unlike anything else. What else have I learned today? Uh. Well... Certainly got practice in with a laser pistol. Hey, the cyber dog gun. And Magnum ammo. Just a brain. No. Request for assistance. We've had a small issue with one of our Y17 trauma has. Harnesses. Sadly, a member of the X-12 research team choked on a buffalo gourd seed and died while working late last night. For some reason, his Y-17 trauma harness will not shut down. In fact, it has begun malfunctioning, causing the late Mr. Harris to attack other employees. Do you have any prototypes you could lend us as a means to stop it? Assistance granted. I'm sending over the K-9000 cyber dog gun. It should do the trick. Let me know if you have any problems. K-9000 sealed in Y-12. We had another unfortunate occurrence whilst attempting to destroy Mr. Harris's trauma harness. The dis disaster control team members carrying the gun slipped and fell, dropping the weapon unarmed. The team had to flee, sealing off the lab. Unfortunately, the K9000 Cyberdog gun prototype was inside X12. Oh, God's sakes. That's exactly the same type of gun I have now, so I can get two of them. But I don't like the idea of it being able to fling 357 Magnum bullets at insane rates of fire. Uh. 
This place is getting to me. This is the only obvious explanation of what the hell I just saw. Wasn't that shut down for some reason? Meeting with search protocol. Oh. Do not be alarmed. Order will be restored soon. Please stand by. Sorry, Mr. Protectron. But I need your energy cells. Oh, yes! My pet, Gabe! I'd forgotten about the old boy and the countless experiments I'd done on him back in his. Gabe? Gabe! You're about to have your favorite treat! A visitor! Won't that be nice? Don't eat the visitor, boy! Attention! Please! This is now a combat zone. You may suffer harm up to and including death if you remain in the area. Go away! Ah, fuck it, this thing took out. Uh oh! Go down. Okay, a cyber dog that has been drugged to the max. That shouldn't be too hard to kill. I don't think. Oh well. Better get to it then. Yay.